Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog Pose. This is a powerfully calming asana once you can be comfortable in it. In addition to stretching the extremities, it's a partial inversion, so subtle gravity will draw prana to the brain if you keep your spine straight. Then the affirmation will come to life. Calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. Come on to hands and knees. Hands shoulder width apart in front of the shoulders, knees directly beneath hips and spine straight. Turn your toes under and as you exhale, press back and up. Straighten your knees as much as possible without rounding the spine. Align your arms with your spine, biceps alongside your ears. Roll your shoulders open away from your ears. There should be space between your arms and the sides of the head. Press the base of each finger firmly into the floor and distribute your weight evenly throughout your wrists and hands. Use the strength of your arms to shift weight onto your legs, not just to hold up the body. Relax your heels toward the floor. It's fine if they don't touch the floor. Breathe smoothly and open your brain to receive the energy flowing toward it through the spine. Silently affirm, calmness radiates from every fiber of my being. On an exhalation, release into Balasana, child pose. Practice keys. Make a straight spine your highest priority in this asana. Bend your knees if that's what it takes to keep the spine straight. Distribute weight evenly through the hands and wrists. Roll your shoulders open so the neck will be an open channel for energy to flow to the brain. Press back and up through the arms and torso to keep your spine long and to shift as much weight as possible onto your legs. <laughs> 